Today we're checking out this P90 loaded electric guitar called the Grunge Master from Artist Guitars. Let's get into it. Hey folks, this is Shane. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Today we're checking out the Artist Guitars Grunge Master GM1L guitar. Also comes in a righty. Let's take a look. Here's the guitar up close. Now the first thing I have to mention is how great this finish is on the body. It's just beautiful. The paint job is extremely good. There's no problems at all with the finish anywhere. And I love the fact they've put the binding on the fretboard as well. The white binding here, I think that looks good. The big block inlays also, I think it just looks great. We have the tortoise shell scratch plate here as well. Now, people will either love or hate that. That's one of those hugely divisive things, but I think it looks pretty cool, especially for what I like. We have two Wilkinson P90 pickups. So for those unfamiliar with P90s, they look big, but they're single coil pickups, much like a Strat, but slightly hotter. So uh, they do buzz. If you get a little bit of buzz in your house or whatever, these are single coils, much like a Strat. So just keep that in mind for me filming in here with all my studio lighting, I'll be using a noise gate, which will get rid of all of that. So there's no other way around it other than hearing the buzz in my particular room. Now, some venues I play in, the buzz isn't even a problem and it's not anything to do with the pickups. It's just single coils inherently will do, make a little bit of buzz sometimes in certain venues. Here's the headstock here. We have die cast chrome tuners, which looks pretty cool. I actually like the headstock shape. I think it looks pretty good. And how about this? We have a satin neck. I think this is one of those things I wasn't really expecting. I mean, I didn't even expect to see the binding on the fretboard. So uh, visually, yeah, I, I really like how this looks and it feels really nice in the hand. In terms of weight, I would say this is about the same weight as my Strat, my Mexican standard Strat. Maybe slightly lighter, the body is basswood, but you know, I, I don't know, it feels about the same sort of weight as that, which is great. Now, if you know my channel, you know I'm a huge fan of simple guitars. We have a three-way toggle switch, so we can go neck, both, and bridge, just like that. Notice the switch goes side to side as well. We have a single volume and a single tone control. For those interested in the specs, the neck's a 25.5 inch scale. We also have a maple bolt on neck as well. So as you can see, much like a Strat or a Tele, we have the bolt on neck here. And one of the cool things is as well, Truss rod access is here. We get the Allen key with it as well, which is nice and simple. And uh, yeah, so we get a pretty much a very familiar looking guitar, but not a whole lot of money. There's no denying it. If you're a fan of the JM style electric guitars from another company, you'll definitely get a kick out of this. I'll give you all my thoughts and opinions on this at the end of the video. A huge thanks to Artist Guitars for sending this out. This is a completely unpaid video. If you want to find out more about them, I'll post all the links on screen and in the description below. They're not affiliate links or anything like that, so you can click them and check them out. Let's get into it. All right, let's kick it off. I'm plugged into the Kemper Profiling Amplifier. Now, I only profile all of my own gear, so this is the PV Bandit 112, loaded with a Texas Heat Speaker, mic'd up with a Rode M3 on bridge pickup on some dirty tones, and then we'll try some clean tones as well. Here we go. Over to Nick. And 
and over to both, something a little different. And now with the gain control cranked on the amp, let's give this a shot, this is bridge pickup. <laughs> Let's try some clean channel tones now, thanks to the vintage clean channel of the PV Bandit. Let's try neck pickup to start with. Yeah. Over to both pickups, we'll try some rhythm stuff. And over to bridge, let's give this a shot. So I'm back to the dirty channel of the amp, and I'm gonna start with my volume control most of the way down. One of the cool things about P90s is how great they clean up. Let's give this a shot. This is bridge pickup. So that's pretty much dead clean. A little bit more. A little bit more. And all the way up. Sweet. Thanks for watching folks, my name's Shane. If you have any comments or questions or if I miss something coming up, let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So what do I think of this guitar? I think visually it looks amazing. In the hand it feels great. It's got a very familiar sort of modern C-ish kind of neck shape. So it feels good, most people will probably like that. The P90s sound great, they handle the high gain stuff, they sound great clean. Like any P90, you know, that's, that's what's great about P90s. You can get a lot out of them. The only downside to P90s is in some rooms it can buzz a little bit like I mentioned, but that's just one of those things inherent to any single coil guitar. So overall, visually, this is great. Tuning stability wise wasn't great straight out of the box and I started stretching out the strings and they started to slip. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna restring this and I've had no problems. So if you buy one of these, cut the strings off, put new strings on and you won't have any problems. It played great straight out of the box, minus obviously the string tuning thing. So once I restrung it, I haven't done anything else to this at all. It just feels good to play. The action's great, all that kind of stuff. And these are things that some inexpensive guitars can kind of not be the best at is things like the fret edges feel pretty good as well. There's nothing too sharp. And I gotta say, I love the fact they've added the binding and none of the tuners I should also point out on this guitar, the tension's pretty consistent along all of them. Like some guitars I've had, some are really hard to turn, some are way too loose, and this is all on the same guitar. This one just feels great. Overall, for the money, this might be the best guitar I've played for 260 Australian dollars. No doubt about it. That comes in at around $200 a US, given the exchange rate, but uh, overall, this is pretty cool. Let me know what you think of the tones of this in the comments below as well. 
If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it around with your friends if you know someone who's interested. I tried to play a mix of stuff on this video, mostly because the name of this, The Grunge Master, will appeal to very different people. Not only will blues guys like it, because it's loaded with P90s, you can get those great tones out of it for blues. You can also rock out and play some different stuff. And I thought, you know what, I'll play some different stuff just to sort of show you how capable of a guitar it actually is. I didn't get a gig bag or anything with this, so it's just straight out of the box. It was packaged well, it had the Allen key for the adjustment, and that was it. But you know what, I think they have a listing where you can actually buy a hard case and all that for it. If I was to buy this straight from the shop, I'd get a gig bag and I'd be done. I think that would be the, the easiest, cheapest solution. But overall, pretty sweet. A huge thanks to Artist Guitars for sending this out. I really do appreciate it. If you want to find out more about them, all the links will be on the screen and in the description below. Thanks again. Catch you soon.